Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Breezy Kicks, the sneaker fiend. Now today we're gonna be talking about these Travis Scott Jordan 6s. But before we do that, make sure if you're new to the channel, you subscribe, hit that like button if you like the content. Follow me on Instagram at Breezy underscore Kicks 23. It's your boy Breezy Kicks, let's get it. Uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm here. All right, guys, so the Travis Scott Jordan 6s are releasing sometime this summer, late July, early August. We do not have a official release date yet, but I will be updating you guys. So I will update this video the second I get news of the release date. So check the description area. Now this shoe is a green olive Jordan 6 collaboration with Travis Scott. One very dope thing about this sneaker is it has this extra little accessory on the side. It is a little pouch pocket on the side of the Jordan 6. Very interesting, very cool. I personally really like this feature and I think it's pretty dope. I don't know what the intentions were when they made that pocket, but either way, it's a cool little accessory to the sneaker that I really think is dope and creative. A lot of people, for some reason, were hating on these Travis Scott Jordans. First, the Travis Scott ones, the reverse Nike, people went crazy saying how stupid it was and now everyone's on the hype and everyone seems to like the shoe. Uh, I think it's kind of funny. Then a lot of people were talking crap about the little pocket on the Jordan 6 saying it's stupid and as we're getting closer to release date I've noticed a lot of people say they really like this feature all of a sudden. I find it funny how so many people seem to switch their opinions as the hype starts coming around but at the same time I do get it. At first we had some really crappy pictures. Recently we have gotten some high quality pictures of these Jordan 6s and I'm hyped. I, I really am excited for this sneaker. I want it as a personal pair. So I will be talking about what I think resale is going to be, where you can buy the sneaker, all that good stuff. But before we do that, let's just talk about this shoe. First off, retail $250. I don't get it. I don't like when Jordan Brand decides to up the retail on these already expensive sneakers. I think $225 still would have been high but to go all the way up to 250 just doesn't make sense I really do like Jordan 6s they are one of my favorite models out there a Jordan 6 should not retail at $250 that's just my honest opinions I don't care if it's a collaboration I don't care if there's extras to the sneaker you know pockets reverse swooshes I don't care it should not be that high I think this shoe should be retail around 200 so you got this all green upper it looks to be this like suede material all the quality right off the bat looks really nice very impressed with the quality just off of pictures obviously I'd like to get them in hand to confirm the quality but in pictures they are looking to be high quality like I said that olive green upper you got olive green laces and hints of black on the tongue midsole Hill and tongue tab. Another cool little add to this sneaker is the outsole. I love the black hints on the outsole with the translucent glow in the dark, the little patches, whatever you want to call that. I think that's awesome that they're glowing in the dark. A lot of sneakerheads seem to get hate when it comes to shoes glowing in the dark. People who aren't sneakerheads tend to look at us like why would you want shoes that glow in the dark isn't that kind of childish mind your own business all right because i think it's dope and i'm excited to have some dope jordan sixes that are glowing at nighttime. i think that's cool i don't care now let's talk about this hill section on the back the left side you got nike air with a nike swoosh in orange and on the right side you got that cactus jack logo on this sneaker you got some hints of orange on the hill tab the lace lock on the front of the tongue that jump man and then also the air unit i do like the orange hints on top of this olive green the colors just really collide together and really make the shoe pop and stand out now especially with this pocket this thing is absolutely insane i think it is fire For the most part this is a pretty simple little pouch pocket on the inside you got that travis scott logo uh, i've said it before i'll say it again i love collaborations of any sort really i love it that a brand can collab with an artist 
whatever it may be, and make something that's really dope. I love collaborations. I think it helps the sneaker community. It draws more people into sneakers, which is good for the whole community, and I think it's pretty dope. So like I said, I will be updating you guys on the release date when I get it, but as far as where you can buy these, number one is gonna be the sneakers app. If you guys don't know too much about the sneakers app, it is Nike's main way of selling their exclusive sneakers. I have talked about tips and tricks in other videos, so real quick, just a quick little run through, some tips and tricks for the sneakers app is make sure you have your account ready. Highly recommend that you set up PayPal with your sneakers account. Most smartphones, you can use your fingerprint to sign in, so if you have that feature on your phone, I highly recommend you do it. It makes the checkout a lot quicker and you're more likely to get the sneakers. And another tip is now that the sneaker is you know, just around the corner and it's about to release, stay up to date on all the news, everything. Keep your notifications on, get some uh, apps like Soul Links, uh, Jordan 23 app, it costs a dollar, but they will send you a notification if there's ever like a shock drop. So if these were to the shock drop, say today, the Jordan 23 app is gonna notify you and say, yo, shock drop Travis Scott Jordan 6s. You click that thing, it'll send you right there. So Jordan 23 app is a very good app to have, especially if you're trying to get exclusive and limited sneakers. These shoes are not on StockX yet, which is kind of weird. I couldn't find them on there, but I definitely think these shoes will have resale. In fact, I know they'll have resale. As far as how much resale they will have, I don't think it's gonna be too crazy. It's definitely not gonna be the Jordan 1 Travis Scott's, but it will be good. It will be, I wanna say, my official low predictions is around 600 bucks. I honestly can see this shoe being a low 450 to a high 800, maybe 900. I'm not too sure. I don't really think it'll go up to a thousand just because a Jordan 6 is not that popular. There's a reason the Jordan 1s went up so high. The model is very popular. Honestly, not too many people mess with Jordan 6s. Me personally, it's one of my favorite models, but I understand that not many people like Jordan 6s. It is still a Travis Scott collaboration, so people will definitely buy this sneaker and it will have resale. So like I said, I'm guessing around 600 bucks as far as resale. Again, retail's 250, so you're looking at about a $400 profit if you're looking to flip this sneaker. There you guys have it. Let me know what you think of the Travis Scott Jordan 6s. What do you think of Travis Scott Jordans in general? Again, I will be updating you guys on the official release date the second I get that information. So make sure you come back to the video, check that out. Also, follow me on Instagram at breezy underscore kicks 23. The second I get information, I will be putting that on my Instagram, letting you guys know, probably in my story. So make sure you're following me, breezy underscore kicks 23. Again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button if you like the content. It's your boy, Breezy Kicks. We out.